Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melsa and today I have a new video for you. Um, so today I'm trying out this Rose Blossom um, Brightening Facial Mask uh, from Jaejun Cosmetic. I don't know how to say it right. I, I, I don't know. So this is the brand name Jaejun. I hope that's right. Um, cosmetic. And this is a Rose Blossom Mask. So it's supposed to have like a rose kind of scent into it. That's what I think. And it says brighten your skin with rose water, nourishing and hydrating. So this is supposed to be have um, like more of like a nourishing nourishing or like very moisturizing kind of uh, facial mask and along that is supposed to be um, brightening kind of um, sen sensation uh, very noticeably since this is a very famous brand so they have like a check mark uh, if you check this is the like the uh, actual mask or the you know the off-brand mask or the knockoff um, I didn't really <laughs> check on it it's just um, I, I, I'm kind of lazy, so I didn't track, uh, but I do think this is, um, official one, because the website I usually use, they don't usually, um, have off-brand ones, and I have never, um, got any off-brand or knockout from this website, um, so I do think this is the original one. And noticeably here it says it's 25 millimeter of serum in here, and we shall see how it works, because I usually do you like mask come with a lot of serum and if you check my last video for the Hello Kitty one you know that one has 20 milliliter and this one has 25 so it should be noticeably a lot more compared to the one that I have used before um, this mask it I think is cost for a dollar or 350 for a discount I do believe I got it for $3.50 um, and uh, this mask I got a couple of them um, I have to say I have never tried any other kinds from this brand, but I really hear a lot of good thing, good things on this brand, and I do think um, it should be uh, good since it has such a good name out of there. Um, and looking into the back of it, it doesn't really have much English, and I I don't really read Korean, so I'm gonna just use it um, as the um, other kinds of facial mask that I have used before but here on the minute that you can supposed to go is 10 to 20 poon yeah it says 10 to 20 poon it means 10 to 20 minutes so the least amount I can put it on is for 10 minutes and the most is 20 minutes usually I don't ever go all the way to 20 unless it's, it's very very moisturizing so this time I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna go um, put it on for 15 minutes and here's a clip that I tried it out Okay, so I'm gonna give you a review right now and possibly ending this video. Um, it's just because I feel like currently it's a good timing for the serum to set in and I can um, talk to y'all for what I'm thinking before I forget all about all of them. Um, so as you can see, there's ending up quite a lot of serum in that bag. Um, on the bag it says there's 25 millimeter, uh, milliliter of serum and I do think there's... Um, quite a few uh, quite a good amount of serum in there and um, it is very serum like it is a little bit thicker consistency um, instead of those uh, very liquidy one um, as you can see the facial mask itself is a little bit like a sakura pink kind of color like a little bit meaty color um, instead of um, a full-on pink or a, usually a white sheet um, for me, the color doesn't bother me, but I do think the color put it on, it makes you kind of like your skin is burnt or something like that. Um, but currently, myself, is okay. it's okay with it, it's just because I don't show my facial mask to people. Um, and so now I have put 
basically squeeze, it, squeeze out all the amount of the serum that I have and I still have like quite a lot of amount um, on my arm, on both of my arm and my neck and a little bit on my shoulder just because I feel like there are too many serum and I can't possibly use them all on my face. So first thought about um, the scent, it, if you open it at first it does have a little bit of that rose water scent, it does have a little bit, not like strongly like in your face. Um, if you have used um, Thayer's um, rose water toner, um, it's a like witch hazel toner. Um, if you have used that one, this one is a lot lighter compared to that one. Um, this one has a light scent, and if you put it on, you can't really smell it anyway. Um, yeah, I can't smell it anyway um, right now. Um, and also, it's very moisturizing in my opinion. I think um, the price of it is actually okay. It's $4. It's not super, super cheap, but on the other hand, it's not very very expensive compared to some ones you can get in Sephora. I think you can get like a like a similar facial mask in Sephora, like Sephora brand for $40. So that is actually quite a good deal. Um, I think this, um, the reason that this is overly popular is because one, it does have a lot of serum a second. I think a lot of people believe in that this mask will brighten up your skin. Uh, for myself personally, I don't see a lot of effect on um, brightening up my skin. It does look my, make my skin look really glossy like um, right now, but you know, I have to wash it off later. I, I don't, I do think it makes your skin look very glossy like. Um, so like the popular glass skin kind of a trend going on, I do think it does work on that way. For myself, I'm okay with it. I think it's um, it it does moisturize quite a lot. Um, it's pretty it's a pretty good mask. But what I think is better than the um popular recipe honey one. So currently that one is like the best I have ever tried on my channel. I have other ones I really really like, but. I mean, I have to give you a review later so you can know which one I'm referring to. Um, this one, I think is pretty good. It's not as good as the, the honey one, just because I like the scent of it, I like the, the material of it. And this one, I have to talk about the material of the uh, fish mask, I totally forgot about it. Um, the material of the mask is actually a, like a piece of cloth, a thin cloth, so it's not super super thick compared to the um, Hello Kitty one that I have reviewed on my channel. Uh, this one is not very thick at all. Um, it's quite thin and also it does hold up quite a lot of serum because when I get it out there you can see there's not much serum left in the pack. Uh, but when I squeeze out all the serum it has a whole lot more than I, uh, than I realized. So I do like the a capability of holding that liquid and put them on your face so like your face is like very moisturized and that really does the job. Would I recommend it? Yes. I do think it's a work, um, it's, I do think it's a good mask, um, but would I repurchase it? Maybe. Uh, maybe I will repurchase it. Okay, so you're back. Um, so I, after I tried out this mask, I wash out my face, after I, um, did all that kind of review before I do have a little bit update for you so the update on this is after I wash my face my skin does feel so much smoother um, I I usually exfoliate my face before uh, using any kind of facial mask just to give it the best result um, the best way to resorb absorb all those serum in my face, the goodies in my face. Um, this time I do the same thing, I exfoliate my face and I did exactly the same steps as every single kind of facial mask that I review. But I noticed my face was noticeably a lot more smoother than um, the average one and it did last quite a long time and after I wash out the you know the glossier kind of serum thing my skin does look a lot better it does have that kind of glowy look so I think it does have a little bit brightening kind of function into it however it's not like the skin tone changed I think it's just it looks more glowing like um not like color change but more like a texture change if you know what I'm talking about. So I do think this is a very good mask and I do, would recommend it to you um, if you're trying to get um, a smoother skin in uh, like an in within one hour or two, you know, um, you're trying to have like a big event, you want to go. I do think this will help you in a short amount of time but it's not like miracle this is not like a miracle it wouldn't give you the absolutely perfect skin it's gonna give you like a comparably smoother skin in my opinion so i was very surprised by this because um when i was doing the review i didn't 
expect it would feel the same as the serum I was on. But this is very interesting. It does make my skin looks a lot smoother and feels a lot softer. Um, so yeah. This is officially end of this video. I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment down below. If you like, please give me a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!